So undoubtedly, there is lots of technology out there. Um, three that I'd probably call out in the tax space would be, number one is the tax office. They're going through huge transformation. And in the next 12, 18 months, I think we'll see every form of communication and interaction through a digital means. The second one is automation. I can see us starting to replace some of those activities that we've offshored, some of those low value adding activities, and replacing them with automation technology. And when we do that, we'll see the time that we spend on those things significantly reduced. And then probably the third that I see happening is, I'll start, I think we'll start to see the vendors incorporate machine learning into their tax platforms. Because at the end of the day, machine learning is really about categorizing transactions which is really what tax people do. When those three pieces of technology start to come together, then I think we start to see a real end-to-end -end disruption of the tax world. I think it's safe to say that most tax professionals feel really comfortable about tax topics, but don't about technology. So increasing their knowledge is probably the first step. The second one is also, I think they need to change their mindset from being binary to being open to options. I hear very often tax professionals saying, because we don't have the full end-to-end -end perfect machine, we're really not interested. When in fact, there's lots of really good technology that people can be looking at to pick up in a tax process. And the third thing is, you need to know where to spend your money. And the best way to do this, I think, is to have some form of framework to help you actually divide how you'll spend your money and make your investments. I think when you do those three things together and have a go, that's how you start to navigate the future. As shown in a recent study, the digitally enabled businesses, particularly in the small and medium sized space, um, are likely to have at least 50% more revenue per employee than those that are not. So it's definitely something worth tackling. If I were to pick one single piece of technology that I'd pick to start with, that would be technology in the area of collaboration and communication. So today, all of us feel very at home and familiar with using Facebook Messenger, uh, WhatsApp, etc. But when it comes to talking to our clients, we're in black and white letters. So I think any piece of technology that can change the way that we interact with our client can only be for the positive.